What's up everyone then, my name is Tom and welcome to Techstream. And today we're having a bit of a blast from the past. We're taking a look at the Awa Exos 9 Bluetooth speaker. This big Bluetooth speaker, but Bluetooth speaker. Now, a little bit of background history. Awa were a brand here in the UK, very common in sort of the late 80s, early 90s, finishing in sort of like the late 90s. They kind of died out. Um, bit of a supermarket brand towards the end, but originally everybody had an AWA hi-fi system in their house. Most kids, or most people my age, will have remembered their parents having one sort of thing, but it died out. But the brand name has been bought out by another company, and they're starting to bring it back. And this is one of their first products. It is, as I mentioned, a Bluetooth speaker. It's, it's a big one. It's not small by any uh, stretch of the imagination. It's called the Exos 9, and I think the best way to describe it, it's a party box. Um, it is not one of your little Bluetooth speakers for sitting on the bus with, or um, sitting by the pool on holiday with. No, this is the sort of thing you take out into the garden, or you go to a big hall with your friends, and you have a party with it. So, what is it? It is effectively just a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, it does have a few neat features which we will get to. So we'll start off with a quick walk around. Now, turning the thing on, we'll start, I'll show you that, is turn it on at the back with the good old fashioned flip switch. And that is it on. Now, on the front, we do have a nice, bright, easy to read display. Basically, it gives you your battery, uh, whether your Bluetooth is connected, and your equalizer. It does have a five band equalizer, and the battery on it is rated for 10 hours, they say. Um, I had it, I left it playing all day at sort of low volume, and yeah, I did actually probably get around, around the eight to nine hours just sort of playing at low volume. Um, crank the volume up on this thing, which is rated 200 watts, not going to happen. Volume dial, no um, indication of the volume that you have set though, and it is an infinity wheel, so you haven't really got much of a clue as to what it's set at. Now, if we tip it forwards a little bit, you can see on the top here, which should, there we go, actually illuminate as well. We do have some more buttons. We have our link button for connecting it to your phone. We'll get to that. Um, and we've randomly started playing music, not sure why. Um, we do have the equalizer buttons, so you go through your presets with the arrow buttons, and then up and down to do a manual EQ, and play pause. There we go. And this little end button, that is for linking. Again, I'll get to that in a little bit. If I flip it round to the back, you can see on the back we do have a nice big rubber handled handle here for carrying it with. Actually quite a nice addition. Big base port for all those bases to come out of. And uh, in here, that is the battery. You can actually buy additional ones, which I thought was quite a nice little addition. Um, so if you're going out maybe for a weekend's camping with your mates, you could pack a second battery and have plenty of music the whole time. It does just slot in. Standard kettle type power lead. I'm pressing more buttons. There's your on off button. We do have an auxiliary in. They do supply you with the cable as well. So should you wish to connect something up that maybe isn't a smartphone, you might want to connect your good old fashioned iPod that's not a Bluetooth one or anything like that. A USB port for charging the phone that you have connected to it. And micro uh, USB here, that's for firmware updates, things like that. So on the outside, it is quite basic. It's not an all singing, all dancing thing. Um, it's not full of features or anything. Honestly, feature wise, it is actually quite poor. But there is one thing I did quite like about it. So I've got an Android mobile phone here. Um, I have NFC enabled on this. And all I need to do is do that. My phone is now connected to this speaker. And then I can literally go onto my Spotify and choose something and click play. Um, 
I do have a small one, so the first thing that's going to come up is The Greatest Showman. Simple as that. And it just connects just simply by tapping on the button. Now, I will say, sound quality on this was impeccable. Even cranked as far up as it will go. There was no distortion, nothing like that. Battery life will not get you 10 hours, though, when it is set up like that. But, yeah. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, the thing you've got to remember, do not think of this as a smart speaker. This is not an Alexa speaker, this is not a Sonos or anything like that. This is a room filling or garden party speaker. This is great if you want to get your mates around, have a few drinks in the garden and have some music playing. This is suitable for that. This is not suitable for putting into your... Well, you could put it in your living room and just have it as a Bluetooth speaker, but that is not what I think this is suited for. I think this is suited for your outdoorsies and your parties. Um, for that, it is perfect. It is lacking in features. Um, there is two other accessories that are available that I would have liked to have seen included, especially with the target audience of this thing. You can get a carry bag, which is great if you want to go camping for the weekend with your mates, and you can buy a remote control. It's a tenner. I am actually going to send an email over to AWA and say, why is it not included? It's just a little infrared remote control because, as standard, the only media button is that play and applause button. Um, but the controls on it are nice and simple to use. Sound quality on it is good. No complaints about sound quality, no complaints about the build quality, although this top display. I did find is made out of sort of a very soft sort of le uh, plastic and it does mark very easily um, a bit like most plastic things really um, even just wiping your hand across it will leave sort of like micro scratches in the plastic but overall yeah it's a good product it's not cheap it's 260 quid but if you are in the market for a good party speaker, something that you can stick outside with your mates, go camping with, or have everybody around for a bit of a beer and session. Beer session, yes, this will do the job. Two hundred sixty quid. Yes, there are cheaper options, especially if you can get a power cable to it. But it is battery powered. It does work on battery well. And I must admit, I do quite like that. The ability to just plonk, plonk, press the link button, stick your phone on top, and you're connected is quite good but at 260 quid the carry case and the remote control really should be included so there we go guys that's the AWA Exos 9 it's a good quality good sounding slightly lacking in features Bluetooth speaker I like it um, I'm actually going to take this down my workshop where we will be using it for listening to music with um, for, for filling a big space like a workshop is fantastic so there we go, that is about it. Is it a thumbs up, is it a thumbs down? I think it's a good start for AWA. They've got some way to go. Um, I think the combination of price and features are a limiting factor on this. It's not a bad product by any stretch and I wouldn't be disappointed if I spent 260 quid and bought one. But it's not a standout product just yet. Um, it either needs a cheaper price or more features. So I will be feeding that back to them. And as always guys, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, not a problem. I'll put links below as to where you can buy this product. And as always, if you want to see more of me, click the subscribe button. And I will be back this time next week, hopefully. Thank you very much, and bye for now.